Hello and welcome along. Uh, today we are taking a first look at Farming in the Rocks. Uh, this is a map for Farming Simulator 19 by Mario Villas. Uh, and it is available, uh, it's available for PC only. Uh, and it's available via his YouTube channel. Uh, there's a download link on the preview uh, video or the, uh, the, the video trailer for this map. So I will put a link to that in the description and because it's on YouTube, uh, what I should be able to do is put a link in it in the top right hand corner. Uh, so you can go and check that out there. And, uh, and yeah, so this is, uh, this is, this is farming in the rocks. Now I had a quick look, uh, full disclosure, I had a quick look at the uh, trailer for this. Um, the only driving around the map I've done is to get our Mahindra 2 here, which is our spawn point, our spawning in point. Uh, and you can see we've got some equipment in the field, we've got a farmhouse here. And uh, and yeah, the scenery uh, on this. This looks like a very flat map from what I've seen. And yet, it has this wonderful uh, feeling of height to it, even though it is flat. So it does. Uh, we are in a valley, and it's all uh, it's all nicely flat, and it is, and it's probably farming between the rocks. Uh, so we're going to explore this and have a look around. Uh, first thing that strikes me spawning into this map and here is we are in the middle of a grass field. So this is uh, this is a uh, this is the the basic farm. Uh, farm manager. No, this isn't farm manager. This is uh, this is a uh, new starter farmer. Uh, the, the the easy mode for farming simulator 19. Uh, and as you can see, we've spawned in with a house. Uh, we've spawned in some, with some equipment over here. We've spawned with no farmyard, nothing like that, which I quite like. This this even even on the very starting levels of this game, this map is is absolutely ready for you to put your own stamp on it uh so the, the the map creator hasn't given you any kind of uh any kind of idea as to how the farmyard should look or anything like that uh you've basically you're in a grass field it's not an actual field itself uh, it is marked on the map as being a concrete area but as far as i can see there is no concrete under the ground here uh and yeah the other thing you've got is a silo which is uh yeah so I'm not so I'm not 100% sure this is correct um, with the silo here and the grass coming through it. I'm not sure that this is wholly intentional, um, but certainly there's there's a good opportunity to put your stamp on this map right from the get go. Uh, we will jump in the Mahindra and uh, and we'll have a drive around. You can see basic equipment you start with. Uh, there's a case, a John Deere, um, the very versatile. Yeah, the very versatile uh, basic trailer. Although that's an interesting one. That's got a, a an attachment on it I've not seen on that trailer before. Uh, let's let's jump in this and head over there because this will be quicker. And then we're going to go and have a shoot around the map and have a look at what this map has to offer. Uh, but yeah, that's interesting. I don't remember our Strowman uh, being able to have that. I could be wrong. Uh, so small error over here that I can see uh, our cedar starts off the wrong way up so there is that issue as well uh, and oh and it's attached to a, uh, a Lemkin um, power harrow so uh, yeah so there are those two but they're they're the wrong way up uh, which is a bit of a problem so that's, that's an interesting start and of course the TX attitude we will go through the equipment in full in a bit uh, but we're going to head away from here now. We have a look at the map in general. Uh, fairly decent sized map. We have highest field number there I can see is 24 I think. So uh, we own field 1 which is the one you can see in the distance there. Uh, there are some, looking at this map, there are some interesting uh, areas I think we want to check out. Uh, field 2 looks like it might be quite interesting. Uh, similarly with field 11 and 9 and 8, there seems to be some fields that very much are, uh, as it says, in the rocks. On on what would appear at the, from the, here to be levels above or or at least in a uh, in their own rocks in the areas. Uh, so we're going to check those out. We're going to head up past 24, field 2, 24 and up that way. 
and have a look at that way. So uh, let's let's head up here first, which should take us up to field two up here. And I'm liking this. This is a uh, despite its flatness, and I, I say flatness as I'm going up here. Wow. Um, despite its its general flatness, it is an interesting looking map. This there's not a I've not seen an area of scenery that I've I've not found interesting yet. And uh, and it, despite the, the despite the uh, the square fields or the uh, rectangular fields, it's still you still look over that and uh, and that's still an interesting piece of scenery to do. So I, I quite like this map. Uh, uh, first impression. Uh, good use of uh, good use of FS19. This is actually a convert from FS17. Uh, it's been converted up. Um, but to be honest, personally, if I hadn't read that in the description of his uh, of his video, and then uh, I honestly wouldn't have known. Wouldn't have uh, really twigged that. There is some yeah. There are some interesting bits and pieces here. So these things, despite the flatness, things are on multiple levels. So there are fields that you have to, the only way to drive to them, the only way to get to them, is these roads that take you up levels. And it's an interesting use of uh, levels and height that I've never really seen in FS before. Closest I would say that I've seen to doing this is uh, something like Bjornholm. Bjornholm in FS17. Uh, uh, no, sorry, FS15 was beyond hard, wasn't it? Um, that had sort of this, a little bit of this multi-layer uh, level set up. And it made it an interesting map, that. So, uh, yeah. You see the odd single field uh, here and there. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is looking to be a uh, an interesting looking map. Uh, I get the feeling of, uh, of being tied in a little bit. We have a cell point to our right, so let's go and investigate that and have a look. I don't know what we have in the way of a portal thing here. So this is the Cozy Wool Company, so this is, uh, yeah, this is the wool cell point. I would guess this is also our cotton cell point. I think it's off to the left here. Or off to the right when we came in, off to the left now. Yeah, there we go. So there is our wool and cotton cell point, I would guess. So good to know, uh, and we're go we're going to head off uh, back around where we were going. So round this way. Uh, you can see there's quite a good town sign. That is uh, that matches, of course, the intro image when you load the game up. Uh, that sign there. Uh, so round here, we've got a fuel station, uh, nicely nestled in between these bits here. And it is, there's, there's, the flatness of this map is very much broken up and very nicely broken up. Now that looks like a cell point, but it isn't marked on the map as such. And I just want to check that I've not got something silly like those turned off. No, so that, that building looks like a cell point uh, and it's a grain elevator, but evidently isn't. Uh, what you do have down here though is you have our animal dealer. Uh, which is here and we jump out quickly we can see uh, yeah so at the moment it's uh, yeah it's giving us all types of animals no uh, oh, I wonder if we have some uh, some of those in uh, some of those animals in because it didn't offer us chickens so I'm wondering if on this mode we actually already have a pig area and a, and a cow area and a horse area and all those things Right, coming up here, nice bit of detail up here, some road works uh, that you kind of have to zigzag through. Yeah, that you have to, they're, they're making a new road there, I quite like that. Uh, so that's a nice little touch. And you do your, these valley bits are really, despite its flatness, and that's, that's the thing I keep coming back to here, despite how flat this map is. I, I get a great feeling for, for level. Uh, field 22 here uh, with another cell point down here. And this looks like, uh, wow. Okay, so I do have a little bit of an issue with this cell point. That is not the easiest cell point to get into and out of. 
Uh, it would be good if this gateway wasn't where it is. I kind of feel I want to drive in the other entrance and reverse up to it. I think that's going to be that's a bit of a pain to do that. Uh, or even or even have had this. You can see it here actually. To have had this maneuvered a little bit more to the uh, to the right here, that would have been good. So a little bit further forward as we are right now, uh, and and to have placed this ramp uh, in the middle in this. Let's jump out of this. Uh, so sort of had the middle of the ramp here, I think would have been better. Uh, yes, you'd have had to reconfigure this yard a little bit uh, and and set things a little bit more that way. But I think you've actually got space to do that here. Yeah, you do actually have space really to push that back a bit. So uh, that that would be a minor niggle I have. It's nothing major, nothing that's, that's map ruining or anything like that. But uh, yeah, a little bit of... of of care I think exactly where the entrance is on that side uh, the entrance is fine on the other side of course but then uh, that's because it's, it's well out of the way so head back along the road here and head across the top of the map and we are heading uh, up to the port grain elevator so that was the ranch uh, we're heading up to the port grain elevator we're gonna be uh, cutting back along here in a moment uh, because it looks like this road is just a dead end Except up to the port. And I quite really actually I quite like this that the port is in a position that is separated out from the rest of the map. There's uh, there's the cell point for it. Uh, here. Which I'm, we will look at what sort of crops are dealt everywhere. But I like to see how these are nestled in here. And so uh, that's interesting. So the river out uh, that way. Um, yeah, I think it'd be quite cool if, if that sort of opened out and, and gone out into the sea, as the map shows it does. There's a little bit of a disconnect there. I think there's a little bit missing as far as, um, as far as a great view there. But again, minor niggle. Not, not a major issue, uh, with that. Uh, we'll go back round. We can't actually get out that way. So, uh, let's head back to the road. And, uh, and we will cut back down towards the rest of the map. Uh, just as I'm uh, driving past here, uh, I notice that there is a nice bit of texture and a nice bit of detail under the trees. Uh, so that's, that's good. Nice, nice bit of uh, uh, of care has been taken around the trees, and in in general, actually, uh, there's there's a good bit of detail on this map. And I'm quite liking that. I'm quite liking it, the fact that, that some thought has gone into that. I'm not 100% sure about the PDA. The PDA, I think, could do a small bit of work. I think it's um, it's very obvious that there's sort of the road to be drawn on uh, with, with just sort of straight lines. Um, again, minor niggle, nothing, nothing really major or map breaking or anything like that. Uh, but it's just... It's, it's a little touch. Uh, so that is the road that comes from uh, the spinnery. Uh, liking the look of this coming through here. Field 12, again, is is in with a... Um, in there, in amongst the trees. And there's... It reminds me a little bit of Green River, this map. Uh, to be honest, I, in its flatness. Ah, yet the fact that it's still interesting, uh, that it's still a good map to look at. Uh, I really quite like that. Uh, we got a cell point in here. And yeah, you can see. Yeah. Uh, ah, okay, this is the BGA, is where we are at the moment. Uh, but I'm just going to quickly head up here. And you can see how it would have been nice to have looked down there and, uh, and that sort of to then opened up to the sea. It's, yeah, it is a. Uh, I feel I'm picking some really small holes. Uh, in saying that, there's nothing. There's nothing from that that makes me go, "Oh, this is horrible," or "Oh, this is this is this is a nice map." This is a map I'm actually quite interested in playing. Um, uh, so yeah, let me know at the top. Are you? Do you think I should play this map? Uh, I would love to know what you think. 
Now look at a vote and we'll see where we go from there. We have the shop straight in front of us. Uh, yep, there's only fields down around the other side of the lake there. Uh, again, nice scenery. Very nice scenery. So shop here, uh, shop is FS13 by the looks of it, but um, nice thing about this is uh, really liking what looks like it's had a, an update to the textures. Still fairly bitty, uh, but uh, in general not, not horrible, not horrendous or anything like that. Uh, looking pretty good. Uh, I think we have a we have a workshop in there. Yeah, so that is uh, that's where you can customize your equipment. Uh, yeah, I'm liking this a, a lot. I don't know how much. Oh, just fit through that door. So, shopping bit. Uh, some uh, some doits. So this is a this is a map that very much will take uh, <laughs> that seems to be a doits based one. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, 100% sure where this map is set. I think, I think I saw in the, um, in the video, uh, a flag flying. I think it was a, a Portuguese flag, so this very much could be uh, a Portuguese based map. I think it's, it's definitely a made up area. This is, there's no way this is a, this is a DEM map, anything like that. Uh, I could be wrong about that. This is, uh, ah, this is the sawmill down here. So cell point for wood. Uh, there must be somewhere around here. In fact, I can see a, ah, there we go. Cell point for wood chips. Now, interestingly, I think that the, because we've got a cell point marker here. I think that is slightly out of whack. And uh, in fact, yeah, and what it's actually indicating is the woodland here. Again, nice bit of detail under the trees. Uh, nice bit of woodland. This, uh, quite liking that. In fact, I like that a lot. Now here we have. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Yeah, so uh, again, the map indicates the edge. I kind of wish the map matched uh, what you see on the ground. I don't believe we can go much further than here, unless that is, uh, yeah, you can see now we are beyond what the map marks as a river, uh, but we still do have the river down there. I don't want to get too close to the edge because I don't want to fall in, uh, but certainly this is, uh, this is a good looking map. This is, this is a very nice looking map, especially for such an early release in FS19. Uh, no major issues I can see with it at all. Uh, I think it would be quite good to um, to run a fence setup or something like that on this. I think that would be an interesting uh, setup to go with. We we'll head back to the road. I yeah, there there are so uh, really overall there are minor issues I have with this map. Nothing major, nothing that makes me go, oh, I really, I really don't like it, or I. I really wouldn't play this, um, and it's it's a map that looks nice, looks good, that uh, has an interesting view in any direction you look at it, uh, and would would be an interesting map to play. I think uh, another cell point here. I kind of, I really actually think the the flatness of most of the map. Uh, is is a boom to it? Uh, right, so there we go. There is our um, uh, there is our straw cell point and bale cell point is what that will be. Again, field seven uh, is up the top there. I think we visited field seven a minute ago. Oh. So there's yeah, there's a lot to do here. A lot of interesting stuff. Uh, really, really quite like this map. Uh, so we're gonna head back to. Uh, to where our starting equipment is, uh, I'd be very tempted actually to to have my uh, yard on one of the uh, one of the higher up bits. So you go up to the farmyard uh, would be quite cool on this map, I think. So uh, yeah, we might we might 
have a go on here. Well, as I said, you guys will let me know what you think. Uh, and uh, and yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's great. I think that's a that's a fine looking map. That is, really is. And uh, actually, really, it's it's while uh, while I think it's while I think it's Portuguese, or while I think the creator is Portuguese, if I'm if I'm right, and I uh, probably get a correction if I'm wrong there. Really reminds me of um, the windmills. Really remind me of uh, Holland, but of course you wouldn't get this this sort of level of um, of rocks and and stuff in in Holland. So yeah, I'm, I'm talking rubbish. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's have a look at the cell points. So. Uh, our cell points, uh, we have five of them. Uh, you've got the pork grain elevator and the ranch. They take all of your basic crops uh, up to sugar beet. Uh, cotton, as we suspect, it goes to the spinnery. Uh, again, so this map does support sugar cane. Uh, that goes into the standard one. Egg goes into the standard ones as well. Um, wool goes into the spinnery as you'd think uh, milk goes into the pork grain elevator and ranch uh, wood chips go into the sawmill uh, and bales go into the barn no cell points on this map for either manure or uh, or slurry okay so no slurry cell point no manure cell point uh, which is quite interesting uh Let's go and have a look at the garage next. What do we have in our garage that we start with? So we've got a case, uh, 7250 Pro, uh, a John Deere 6155M, a TX32 Combine, and, uh, of course, the Mahindra we've added. So that doesn't come as standard. Uh, a SEC 802 trailer, uh, a TX32 header, an MKE300 from Rabe, um, Power Harrow, uh, and an Amazon D. 830 cedar uh an axis 40.2 m e m c dash w uh fertilizer spreader and a large grain silo now interestingly no mention of the house in that now i'm just gonna go into the placeables farmhouses so that's interesting i don't think that farmhouse is a placeable and I'd be interested in other game modes to see if that actually was placeable. But I'm guessing that's not a placeable. And you cannot sleep in it because it's not a placeable. So that, that I would say, is an issue. In that, uh, yeah, you have a farmhouse in the middle of a load of grass. And you you have you cannot sell it. And, uh, and, yeah, I think that's just been imported in as an item. So I would be surprised if at night that works. Um... But all in all, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm I'm really quite liking that. Let's uh, just check our contracts. We do have contracts on uh, lots of fields, uh, which is good to see. And I'm guessing contracts are easier to do uh, map making wise uh, in FS uh, nineteen uh, with the field definitions. Um, yeah, oh, good. Uh, purchasing. Let's see how much. So we own these two bits here, so large grass area and uh, and field one. So that's quite interesting. Uh, wow, you could start off with quite a bit of money selling those two. Uh, but we have, um, yeah, so field areas are not too badly priced. Uh, some of them are really quite interesting. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I'm I'm liking this a lot. Uh, there's some good, actually, there's some good prices for the fields. It does seem to be a pretty much most of the time a uh, single field to an area. Uh, 23 and 24 being an exception, 17 and 16 being an exception. But otherwise, yeah, you're you're basically buying a single field when you buy an area on the map. Um, to buy the woodlands, you need to buy field 15. And wow, that is a whopping 805 thousand for that um but there we go so that's that's basically a general overview of the map uh i'm really quite liking this as i've said uh 
earlier in the video we might take a look at this as a series depending on what how you guys voted at that point uh, but for now i am going to leave this video here um you can uh, just one other thing of course if you want to download the map please follow the link in the description or the link up on the screen now and uh with that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.